So children, uh, now we are going to see our page number 29, okay, here. See, uh, page number 9, position of describing words, here. Aunt Denise looked pretty in her gown, okay. So, Aunt, uh, Aunt Denise is a uh, noun here and looks pretty. Pretty is the describing word for that noun. Okay, next is the wedding ring she got was shiny and beautiful. So, wedding ring is here noun and shiny and beautiful are the describing words for that ring noun. Okay, the dinner party was great. Everyone was happy here. Everyone uh, happy is a describing word for everyone and Great is describing word for dinner. Okay. So next, uh, both the words that describing word and nouns are given to you and you should form a sentence with that. First is given to you, shiny ring. The ring is shiny. In the same way, a pretty gown. So the gown is pretty. We can write in this way. The next is great party. The party is great and happy people so the people are happy okay in this way we can complete this the next is fill in each blank with a describing word with the help of the picture given here pictures are given to you and you have to write accordingly the quality of that noun that picture okay so the car the car breaks down easily because it is how is that car? It is very damaged and old. It looked, that's why we can write here old. Okay. The car breaks down easily because it is old. Okay. Bahut purani hai. So, bahut easily ho. Hum tod sakte hai. The children are sleepy because it is past their bedtime. Hai na? Just now, they look sleepy. Next, uh, Rina is uh, maybe... Fill in the blanks because she has won the first prize. Uh, Rina is happy or she is excited also. Both words are correct. We can use any one of that uh, because she has won the first prize. If you also will won, will uh, win the first prize, then you will, uh, you will also be very excited and you will also happy. In the same way that Rina is. Okay, so children, page number 22. 9 is over now. I am going to explain page number 30. Just now, I am going to write on blackboard also. Okay. Here, 30 page also, I am going to explain. So, it is very easy for you. See, next, uh, fill in each blank with describing word and using the picture given, okay? In the same way that in previous page we have seen, with the help of picture we can write uh, the describing words. These apples are, the apples are uh, red. This is uh, with that uh, appearance of that we can say. And juicy, after that eating apples we can say, hai na? Khane ke baad hume pata chalta hai, they are juicy, okay? So, we can say that red and juicy, both are correct. So then, uh, Abdul is uh, young, but his grandmother is old, okay? This is uh, two generations, so we can see this young and old. And secondly, we can use that Abdul is short, but his grandmother is tall. Here, this uh, two describing words, we can use young, short and old and tall, okay? The next is elephant's trunk is long gray. Okay, that is long. It is uh, definitely we can say that uh, elephant's trunk is long and it is also gray. Okay, next uh, with the help of this we can fill up this. Those kites are so bright and against the blue sky. Okay, those kites. Those kites are so bright and colorful here colorful okay next is uh, 
हर पेरेंट्स आर बिकॉज शी लाइट टू देम अगर कोई किसी से झूठ बोलेगा तो पेरेंट्स क्या करेंगे है ना दे वट यस हर पेरेंट्स आर फिफ्थ इन फिफ्थ वी कैन राइट डैट एंग्री है ना दे मे बी एंग्री विथ हर बिकॉज शी लाइट टू देम झूठ बोला उसने देन ही वॉज फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स कुड हार्डली कीप हिज आईज ओपन इन क्लास ही सिक्स ही वॉज स्लीपी एंड कुड हार्डली वो सो रहा था और बहुत ही हाँ बहुत ज़बरदस्ती से थोड़ी बहुत आँखें खोल सकता था ओके माई मदर इज नाउ डाउन साइड डाउन साइड वी हैव टू राइट माई मदर इज एंड केयर्स फॉर अस अलॉट माई मदर इज हाउ इज माई मदर डाउन साइड दैट इज़ वर्न दैट इज़ काइंड माई मदर इज काइंड एंड वेरी शी केयर्स फॉर अस अलॉट देन सेकेंड इज मेरी वॉज एंड चेक हर आंसर बिफोर हैंडलिंग इन हर वर्क मेरी वॉज सेकेंड इज डैट मेरी वॉज केयरफुल इट इज गिवन टू यू ऑलरेडी ओके देन थर्ड इज माई बैग इज एंड माई लंच बॉक्स इज ऑफ सेम कलर सेम कलर यू हैव टू राइट हेयर यू कैन राइट दैट एनी कलर बट हेयर आर इज ऑलरेडी गिवन सो यू कैन से थ्री लेटर वर्ड दैट कलर इज रेड सो यू हैव टू राइट हेयर रेड ओके द म्यूजिक इज सो दैट आई कैनॉट हेयर यू टॉक वेन यू कॉन्ट हेयर बिकॉज दैट म्यूजिक इज वेरी लाउड ओके सो हेयर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड आर पेज नंबर थर्टी ऑल्सो हाँ नाउ दिस वेरी इजी टॉपिक इज डैट पेज नंबर थर्टी वन ओनली वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू राइट और पेज नंबर थर्टी वन ओके दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ऑन ब्लैक बोर्ड और ऑन वाइट बोर्ड इट इज वेरी इजी यू शुड फाइंड आउट ओनली द नंबर एंड दैट शुड बी द एडजेक्टिव दैट मीन्स डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड हाउ मेनी रीड द स्टोरी See, can you see four foxes playing in the grass? There are four foxes. You can see. You can count in the picture. See, one, two, three, four, and uh, plural of foxes, foxes. Can you see two caterpillars on the leaves? One butterfly flies close by. Okay. So, how many caterpillars are there? Two. Here, caterpillars is a noun, and two. is describing word for the two caterpillars and butterfly is noun and one is describing word for that understood and here foxes are noun and four is describing word for that can you see third can you see uh, from this you can't see too clear but uh, from my explanation you can understand can you see eight tadpoles in the pond two frogs are sitting on a lily pad see children here eight is the describing word for tadpoles that means tadpoles are eight see one two three four five six seven eight tadpoles means small uh, frogs uh, the baby frog okay we can say exactly and two frogs are sitting on a lily pad two frogs the frogs are noun and two is the describing word for that frogs okay there are two frogs understood so again here this is adjective of number okay uh, these are the jumbled words we have to make them correct here o f u r that is four foxes okay then second is given to you that caterpillars there there are two caterpillars so we can write here t w then butterfly is one so we can write here one and that third pulls are eight okay then that building has stories how many stories are there four stories this story and this s t o r i stories are different okay this story means a manjile mala kitna majla ghar hai that is okay this is different thing hai na okay the next is there are 19 cherries on the plate of plate mein kitni cherries hai 19 then there are seven goldfish in the bowl next is there are फोर्टीन रेबिट्स इन द मिडो ओके वो जो घास होता है जहाँ पर वो सारे खेल रहे हैं रेबिट्स दे आर हाउ मेनी फोर्टीन ओके दैट मीन्स ऑल दीज डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड शोज द नंबर ऑफ दैट नाउन्स एंड दैट्स वाई दे आर कॉल्ड 
uh, adjectives of number. Numbers are also describing words and they tell us how many people, places, animals and things are. Okay. So, sirf qualities hi nahi hoti hai unki numbers bhi hume pata chalta hai ki kitne kya describing kya describe kar rahe ho kitne hai. That means, see here, earth has one moon. Okay. So, here we have to write answers and at last uh, that circle circle we are going to write here and we get the number that is the answer that how many players are there in a cricket team. Okay. So, in sab kya answer likhenge the circle mein jo hai wo yaha likhna hai to usse hume ye milne wala hai. The year has 12 months. We have 5 fingers in one hand on each hand. Then rainbow has 7 colors. The next is the Indian flag has 3 strips and 10 minus 1 is 9 and then you get their number of 11 and that 11 is answer of that how many players are there in a cricket team. Okay and here see the story it is not possible to explain orally so I have written it only simple Suman and Sudhir live in a small hut by the river. Okay. And one day there is a big uh, storm. The storm winds destroyed two trees by the river bank. That means you have to use all the numbers here given and you should make one story by utilizing all these words. Okay. And you should draw picture also here according to that. Okay children. Next uh, we will see in next period. Bye children.